Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's both fascinating and terrifying anthrax. This notorious bacterium has made headlines for its deadly potential. But what is anthrax, and how does it work? Stick around as we uncover the mysteries of this deadly microbe. What is anthrax? Anthrax is a highly infectious and potentially deadly disease caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. It can affect humans and animals, with various forms of infection, including cutaneous anthrax, inhalation anthrax and gastrointestinal anthrax. Anthrax is known for its resilient spores, which can persist in the environment and pose a threat if not properly managed. Brief History of Anthrax Ancient Records Anthrax is believed to have affected humans and animals in ancient civilizations, with references in texts from ancient Greece and Egypt. Louis Pasteur's Discovery in the 19th century, the renowned French scientist Louis Pasteur made significant contributions to our understanding of anthrax. He developed the first anthrax vaccine, a landmark achievement in immunology. Anthrax is a biological weapon. Anthrax gained notoriety in the modern era during World War I when it was weaponized for the first time. Several nations explored its potential as a biological weapon during the 20th century. The 2001 anthrax attacks. In the United States, the 2001 anthrax attacks raised concerns about bioterrorism. Letters containing anthrax spores were mailed to various individuals and media outlets, resulting in several deaths and illnesses. Continued research. In recent years, research on anthrax has focused on better understanding its biology, developing vaccines, and improving treatment options. About causal agent of anthrax. Shape and size. Bacillus anthracis typically appears as a large, rectangular-shaped rod under a microscope. It is approximately 1-1.5 micrometers in width and 3-5 micrometers in length. Gram positive. When subjected to the gram staining procedure, anthrax bacilli retain the violet stain, indicating that they have a thick peptidoglycan cell wall. Capsule. One of the hallmark features of B. anthracis is its ability to form a protective capsule made of a complex sugar called polydeglutamic acid. This capsule surrounds the bacterium and plays a crucial role in evading the host's immune system. Endospores. B. anthracis is known for its remarkable ability to form highly resistant endospores, which are dormant, spore-like structures. These endospores are extremely resistant to environmental stressors, such as heat, chemicals, and desiccation. It is these spores that make anthrax a potential biological weapon, as they can persist in the environment for extended periods. Motility. Anthrax bacilli are typically non-motile, meaning they do not have flagella for movement. Chains. In cultures, anthrax bacilli often form chains or long filaments due to their pattern of cell division. Types of anthrax and transmission to human. Anthrax can manifest in several different types, primarily based on how it enters the human body and causes infection. The three main types of anthrax in humans are. Cutaneous anthrax. Cutaneous anthrax is the most common form and typically occurs when individuals come into direct contact with anthrax spores from contaminated animal products like hides, wool, or meat. It can also result from contact with soil or materials contaminated with spores. Infection route. The spores can enter the body through cuts, abrasions, or open wounds on the skin. It's important to note that cutaneous anthrax is not contagious and cannot be transmitted from person to person. Inhalation anthrax. Inhalation anthrax is more rare but more severe. It occurs when individuals inhale airborne anthrax spores, often from contaminated animal products or environments. Infection route. The spores enter the respiratory system and can cause severe respiratory symptoms. Unlike cutaneous anthrax, inhalation anthrax has the potential to be highly contagious in a bioterrorism scenario, as it can affect multiple individuals. Gastrointestinal anthrax. Gastrointestinal anthrax occurs when individuals consume undercooked or contaminated meat from infected animals. Infection route. Ingested spores can cause gastrointestinal anthrax, leading to symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. Injection anthrax. Injection anthrax is rare and occurs when drug users inject drugs contaminated with anthrax spores. Infection route. The spores enter the body through injection sites when using contaminated drug paraphernalia. It's crucial to emphasize that anthrax is not a contagious disease, except in cases of inhalation anthrax due to bioterrorism. It primarily originates from contact with contaminated animal products, environments, or materials. How anthrax bacilli causes disease, pathogenicity in human. Entry and germination. Anthrax spores, which are the dormant and highly resistant form of the bacterium, can enter the human body through various means, such as through cuts in the skin, cutaneous anthrax, inhalation, inhalation anthrax, or ingestion, gastrointestinal anthrax. Germination. Once inside the body, the spores encounter a suitable environment, such as a nutrient-rich one or specific host cells. In response to these conditions, the spores germinate into active, vegetative bacteria. 
Multiplication and toxin production. The vegetative anthrax bacilli multiply rapidly at the site of entry. They also produce virulence factors, including three key toxins, edema toxin, lethal toxin, and protective antigen. These toxins play a crucial role in the pathogenesis of anthrax. Toxin release and systemic effects. The toxins are released by the bacteria and enter the bloodstream. They target various cells and tissues in the body, disrupting normal cellular processes and causing widespread damage. The toxins can lead to cell death, tissue damage, and inflammation. Immune evasion. Anthrax bacilli are equipped with mechanisms to escape the immune system. The capsule that surrounds bacteria can inhibit phagocytosis making them less susceptible to attack. Systemic spread. In severe cases, the bacteria can spread from the initial site of infection to other organs and tissues, leading to septicemia, bloodstream infection, and a life-threatening condition. Host response. The host's immune system responds to the infection by producing antibodies and immune cells. What are the symptoms of anthrax? Symptoms of cutaneous anthrax. Symptoms typically appear 1-7 days after exposure. Symptoms may include itchy bump or sore at the site of exposure, usually the skin. Lesion turns into an ulcer with a black center, hence the term, black anthrax. Swelling in the affected area. Mild fever. Swollen lymph nodes. Symptoms of gastrointestinal anthrax. Symptoms may take longer to appear, typically within 1-7 days but sometimes up to several weeks after exposure. Symptoms may include severe abdominal pain, diarrhea, often bloody, nausea and vomiting, loss of appetite, fever and body aches. Symptoms of inhalation anthrax. Inhalation anthrax is the most severe and potentially deadly form of anthrax. Symptoms can take several days to weeks to appear after inhalation of spores. Early symptoms may resemble a common cold or flu and can include fever, cough, chest discomfort and shortness of breath. As the disease progresses, severe symptoms develop, including high fever, difficulty breathing, shock and meningitis. How to diagnose anthrax? Clinical evaluation. A healthcare provider will start by taking a detailed medical history, including any recent exposure to animals, animal products, or environments where anthrax is a concern. They will perform a physical examination to assess symptoms and any characteristic signs, such as skin lesions, in cutaneous anthrax, or respiratory distress, in inhalation anthrax. Microscopy. Examination of clinical samples, such as blood, tissue, or fluids, under a microscope to identify the presence of Bacillus anthracis bacteria. Culture. Isolation and cultivation of the bacteria from clinical samples to confirm the presence of B. anthracis. PCR, polymerase chain reaction, molecular tests that detect specific DNA sequences of B. anthracis, providing a rapid and highly sensitive diagnostic method. Imaging studies, in inhalation anthrax, in cases of suspected inhalation anthrax, imaging studies like chest X-rays or CT scans may be used to assess lung involvement in the extent of respiratory distress. Blood tests. Blood tests may be conducted to assess the patient's overall health and immune response. It's important to note that cases of anthrax are rare, but they should be reported to public health authorities, as they may be indicative of an outbreak or bioterrorism-related incident. What is treatment for anthrax? Treatment for cutaneous anthrax. Oral antibiotics such as ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, or amoxicillin clavulinate are commonly used to treat cutaneous anthrax. Supportive measures like pain management, wound care, and monitoring for complications may be necessary, especially for severe cases. Inhalation anthrax. Intravenous antibiotics, often including ciprofloxacin or doxycycline, are administered to treat inhalation anthrax. Hospitalization and supportive care, such as oxygen therapy and mechanical ventilation, may be required for severe cases. Gastrointestinal anthrax. Intravenous antibiotics like ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, or clindamycin, are used to treat gastrointestinal anthrax. Supportive measures, including fluid replacement and symptom management, may be necessary. Injection anthrax. Intravenous antibiotics are used, similar to inhalation and gastrointestinal anthrax. How to prevent anthrax? Vaccination. Individuals at high risk of occupational exposure to anthrax, such as laboratory workers, veterinarians, livestock handlers, and military personnel, may receive the anthrax vaccine. The vaccine can provide protection against inhalation anthrax and is administered as a series of shots. Proper handling of animal products. Individuals involved in handling animal products, such as hides, wool, or meat, should take precautions to minimize exposure to anthrax spores. Use personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves and masks, when working with potentially contaminated materials. Biosecurity measures. Implement strict biosecurity measures in agricultural settings, such as farms and ranches, to prevent the transmission of anthrax among livestock. Quarantine and isolate sick animals to prevent the spread of disease. Monitor and report any unusual animal deaths to veterinary authorities. Environmental measures. 
Avoid contact with soil, water or materials in areas known to have anthrax spores. When traveling or working in regions with a history of anthrax, be cautious in handling soil or animal remains. Infection control in healthcare settings. Healthcare workers should be aware of the possibility of anthrax in individuals with relevant symptoms and exposure history. Isolate and take appropriate precautions when caring for suspected anthrax cases. Surveillance and reporting. Maintain a surveillance system for tracking anthrax cases in both humans and animals. Report suspected anthrax cases to public health authorities promptly. Bioterrorism preparedness. Governments and public health agencies should have plans and resources in place to respond to potential bioterrorism events involving anthrax. Public awareness campaigns can educate the public about anthrax and its symptoms to encourage early reporting of suspicious incidents. Antibiotic prophylaxis. In certain situations, such as exposure to anthrax spores in a bioterrorism event, individuals at risk may be given antibiotics as a preventive measure. Conclusion. Anthrax is a dangerous bacterial infection caused by Bacillus anthracis. Early diagnosis, timely treatment with antibiotics, and vaccination for at-risk individuals are crucial for managing this disease and preventing its potentially severe consequences. Public awareness and vigilant surveillance are essential in safeguarding public health against anthrax outbreaks. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of anthrax.